international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. Australians only have until this Thursday to register to take part in next month's marriage equality survey. Campaigning is already intense with athletes, business leaders and celebrities all coming out in favour of equality. Posters and leaflets which vilify LGBTI people have also begun circulating in the run-up to the survey. Prime Minister Turnbull is being urged to denounce the hate speech and accept the pain caused after he denied it would happen. Former Ambassador John Quilani has been found guilty of using hate speech and violating South Africa's Equality Act in a case that lasted nine years. The court found that his newspaper column was offensive and had the potential to cause harm. Catholic schools in the UK are challenging anti-LGBT bullying with a new resource for staff and students. The booklet asks for respect and opens discussion on issues of sexuality and gender identity within the classroom. And finally, In Touch Weekly is reporting that Michelle Obama is in talks to make a guest appearance on Will & Grace later this year. An unnamed insider says the ex-first lady is up for almost anything except criticising President Trump. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories by searching for hashtag Pink60 on social media.